Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to weather your models using rubbing alcohol. This video was partially sponsored by our patrons at Patreon. And here are the paints I'll be using. I'm going to be painting the side of this Lehman Rust. The first thing I did was I primed it gray with some Vallejo gray primer. I always like to prime through an airbrush so that I get a thinner coat. And then I put on a layer of Vallejo Chainmail Silver. Then I put on a heavy coat of Liquitex Gloss Medium. And uh, I, this is going to be a heavy coat, and this is going to be the base that all of the paint is going to go on top of. So make sure that you let this coat dry for at least an hour or two. Then I began taping off sections of my tank. I'm going to be doing uh, the command striping on this tank, so I'm going to be painting the front of the treads red. And I am using some Games Workshop Corn Red. Once that was done, I began taping off so that I could paint the rest of the model. And it's important not to let too much overlap between your layers happen, because as the paint gets removed, you're going to start to see some of those underlayers. And so it's always best to try to paint right on top of the metal. So to paint the, most, the majority of the tank, I'm using some Games Workshop Celestian Green. And then I'm doing some striping with some Games Workshop Mourn Fang Brown. Then I went ahead and I unmasked the front of my tank, and then I added some more masking to do the yellow command stripe. I'm using a little bit of, of uh, thin masking. You could also just cut strips out of regular masking tape. And then I used regular uh, blue masking tape to help mask off the rest of the areas. I then hit it, hits that stripe with a little bit of Games Workshop Aberland Sunset. And now I have my top coats of paint ready to go. I then poured myself a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I got myself a little piece of cloth, and I began rubbing off some of the paint that I had just put on. Now make sure that you take off the raised surfaces first, any areas that would get rub rubbed up against bushes or anything, any areas where the paint would naturally chip off. And then I also made sure to hit the bottom areas of the tank where uh, where the things would jump up from the ground and scrape them off, or where some of the dirt had rubbed the paint away, and I hit these areas a little harder. You're also going to want to make sure that the rubbing alcohol doesn't pool up on the model too much, because if it pools up too much, it could actually start to uh, peel the paint off just by itself. Now, if you find that you start working the paint off all the way back down to the gray plastic, then you might want to thin your rubbing alcohol down with a little bit of water. Once my weathering was done, I then went in and added some shadows and some dirt with a coat of Airgrax Earthshade. I apply it in a pretty heavy coat because I wanted it to pool into all of the recesses, and then I remove the excess with a little bit of paper towel, and then I smooth um, some areas with a brush. Once that was done, the the shade the uh, the wash knocked down the color a little bit, so I went back in with a little bit more rubbing alcohol, and I took off some of the wash. And there is the finished effect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can help support us by visiting us at patreon.com. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.